In this video, I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to remove all email subscriptions in your Gmail inbox without using a third-party app that wants to steal and sell your data. Let's go. So if you're watching this, you likely have hundreds or even thousands of emails sitting in your inbox from mailing lists you don't wanna be on. And you just want an easy way to get rid of all of these and unsubscribe so you can stop receiving them in the future. Now there are third-party services you can use for this, but they either cost money or they're free, which just means you are the product and they're probably selling your data as per their terms of service, which most people never read. So let me show you the best way I've found to get rid of all the subscriptions you don't want right from within Gmail for free. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna filter out and move those unwanted emails out of your inbox and into their own folder. And to do this, search your mail for the word unsubscribe. And what this will do is pull up every email in your account with an unsubscribe link in it. Most mailing lists provide a link so you can unsubscribe. So this will instantly give you all of those emails. Pretty clever. And then from here, click advanced search, create filter. Now we can decide what to do with all these emails, both already in your inbox and ones you might receive in the future too. So what we'll do is have them skip the inbox and then we'll check apply the label, click choose label, Click new label and then type subscriptions for the label name and then click create. Now, very important, we want to check also apply filter to matching conversations. So it archives and labels all the subscriptions we already have in our email and then click create filter. And now on the left, you'll see a folder with all of the subscriptions you have. And I'm just using a test email account for this video. So your number is probably a lot bigger than mine here. Now, if you have a lot of subscriptions, it might take a few minutes for them to all show up in here. But after a few minutes of processing on Gmail's end, your inbox should be significantly smaller. And now all of your subscriptions will automatically skip your inbox and show up here under subscriptions. And I'm curious, how many emails do you have in your subscriptions folder? How bad is it? Leave a comment below. So we're already way ahead of where we started, but let's take it to the next level and actually unsubscribe from all the emails we don't want so we stop getting them completely. Just open your new subscriptions folder and you'll notice that when you hover your mouse over each row, Gmail automatically detects that it's from a mailing list and it'll give you a button right here that lets you unsubscribe with just a few clicks. And if that button doesn't appear, the link should be in the email somewhere. And if not, we'll be marking it as spam. Next, right click the email and choose find emails from the sender and then check this box to select all messages on the page. Be sure to choose all conversations if that option appears and then either delete them or report them as spam. Either way, you'll have 30 days to change your mind and recover them. Then come back to subscriptions and repeat until you've cleared out everything you don't want. And then after that, you'll stop seeing these emails show up and subscriptions might actually become a place where you go to see stuff you care about. Now, this might seem a little daunting at first, but remember that each mailing list is probably 10, 50 or 100 emails in your inbox. So this will actually go a lot faster than you might think. Depending on how bad it is, just set aside an hour or so to clean these up once and for all. And you can always do it in batches and come back later if it's particularly bad. The nice thing is, either way, we now have a filter set up so you never see any of these emails in your inbox again. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, hit like, subscribe, and tap the notification icon to get more helpful videos like this one. Quick note, if you wanna do any of this on a phone, you'll need to open the desktop version of Gmail on your phone. There's a link below for how to do that. But there are still a few things you can do from here that will unlock new abilities in Gmail you didn't even know were possible. I have a video with the best top tips that you can learn in Gmail, and you're gonna to wanna to check that video out right here. I hope this video helped you in a big way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.